welcome back to my youtube tutorial this is avion graphics yes on this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to do the pepper manipulation in photoshop yes so this particular distant tutorial is just going to be a lovely one for us to also learn something in photoshop that is uh, one of the magics of uh, photoshop when you, you are talking about manipulation any kind of manipulation yes so on this note i have just getting a pepper which is green pepper that i'm going to use but some use the the, the 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 red pepper and all that but this particular this one is green pepper so this particular pepper that we are going to use to do the pepper manipulation yes so on this note let us just go to our photoshop just like this which i've already launched my photoshop and you can see it over here so i'm using 2020 uh, 2019 version of um photoshop yes i'm not using the latest i'm not using the oldest this one is okay for me not because of i can't use all that, but i just like using this kind of thing yes so on this particular distance what we need to do is to create a new document over here which I'm, i'll just click on the create new document and on this particular document i don't need any kind of document but i just need the default photoshop uh, size document which is 7 by 5 and the resolution is 300 and i think that one is okay for me and over there i'm just going to paste in manipulation paper manipulation this and that, that i've already copied and that one will be okay for me then i'll click create then when i have something like this over here what i need to do over here is to just go file and then i head over to place a link to just import in that, that particular image that i want to work with yes so on this particular day, let me click on the folder over there then i can just bring the image over there over here then it will be okay for me and the next thing again i have to do over here is that i just have to uh, 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 uh just have to transform it a little bit so that it will go down a little bit so that i can work with it without any problem so with this what i need to do is that when you are using the older version 2017 down there then you have to hold shift alternate to transform it best or just transform it squarely but when you are using 2019 upwards or 2018 upwards then all what you need to do is to hold alternate only alternate to do what to do the transformation which is going to be a best thing so let's just hold our alternate and or our shift and alternate to get it done so over here that is what i'm just going to do then i can transform it down not that big but not that too small okay yes then i can have it just like this and over this way that is how i'm going to have it then i can now click and i can just type enter or just click on the arrow over there just to have it over there just like that so over this particular place i'm going to right click and then i'll right start that particular layer how just this way i want it to be so what i need to do over here is to zoom out my work then i can have it just like this and the next thing again i have to do is to head over to the uh, text tool over here which i can type in anything that i want to type in so for this particular tutorial uh, I, I wouldn't like it to be too long so i just want us to type in that particular distance then it's going to be pepe okay i'm just going to type in pepe over there and the color i'm just going to change the color to black so that everyone can see what we are really doing over there yes like this okay yes and the next thing you have to do is to uh give it a, 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 a what is the name a size which is best then i can have some size there's like that and i can make it bold okay okay bold will be okay let me see extra bold and see how that one will be for me let's just use extra bold over here and then i can reduce the size a little bit and then i'll have it just like that ah oh, i don't want it to go far from there so what i need to do is to just make it some a little bit small okay 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 i think this way will be okay for me but we can still do the transformation as we want yes so i've just typed in what i've just typed in over here and then what i need to do over here is that i'm going to right click on the pepper layer over there and then convert it to a smart object when i convert it to smart object i cannot do anything to it so over here what i need to do is that to i have to click uh i have to type ctrl t to do what to do the transformation and then when i have it like just like that, i will zoom it out just like that and then i can move it around just like this i just yeah i just want to move it in a way that how is going to look best for me yes so i just have to move it just like that over there you get that and then when i have something like this i can right click and do what and warp it and through the warping that is how i'm just going to do it i'm just going to come over here this particular edge i'm just going to move it 
to the edge over there just like that and then over this particular this one to uh, move that one to to the edge uh, just like this and uh, that will be okay for me and then over this place I'll move that edge to somewhere like that okay you see that and then I'll move something like that over there just to match with the edges over there you get that yes so as we are doing try and make it somehow lovely yes some may not uh, actually get that but you just have to take your time whilst working with this yes and then over here too I'm just going to pull up that one to this to, to also match with over here so this is weapon I'm weapon I'm weapon I'm using Photoshop that particular tool called weapon yes and then I can have it just like that and then I can have something like this over there yes and then I'll have it just like that and then I can have somewhere like this over there too just like that very lovely and then when I have it just like that I can zoom out to see where that has not been warped then I can just warp that one too and then I check through all the problems then I solve all that problem then I go on top there I can warp it a little bit down yes then I can have it just like that it's okay then I'll have to click okay or enter just to have it just like this over there so that is what I'm just going to have over there so the next thing again I have to do is that that particular layer the pepper layer I'll right click over there and then I'll duplicate that particular layer just like that and when I duplicate it I'll move the duplicate to the top you get that I'm moving this particular duplicate to the top over there then when I have it this is how I'm just going to have it and over that the top uh, pepper layer I'm going to right click and then do what and create a clipping mask in when I create a clipping mask in and I close up this thing this is how I'm going to have it over there you get that yes there is going to have it over there and as you can see you can see that there are some blacks uh, the pepper blocks over there over there over there so it means that those area has not been the matching even said what I do it, it, it has not been reached there so what we need to do is that you have to come and hold control over here and select this one and then hold control and select the top over there you get that then when when you select or you hold alternate or shift plus alternate to just transform it a little bit bigger you get that so that every part of it will do then you use your keys to do the transformation that's the place for you then you can have it just like that and as you can see you can see everything has now come out so the next thing again we have to do is to uh, on up this particular distance over here that is how I'll have it over there you get that yes so on this note this one has clipped into that particular distance that's why we have it just like this so you on up this particular distance on this particular distance you add a layer mask to it and layer mask you can find it somewhere here so you just have to click on that eye then you have it just like this and the next thing again you have to do is to invert it how do you invert it you can press ctrl i to what to infect the spelling of infect i those kind of things yes or you can find it the infect somewhere here somewhere over there you get that then you are good to go so over there you cannot transform it just like that so you have to come and select the black uh, terminal over here then you come and pick a, a brush tool and that brush tool should be soft so you just have to check your brushes general brushes you use a soft brush fine you use any kind of brush it's fine but you can use soft or you can use hardest let's use hardest instead of soft so we can have it just like that and over there when you choose because here is black you have to make your the the the, the, the fourth background over here to be quiet you can get that and the next thing again you have to do is just transform that particular distance out over there so we need the effect to look so distant so we are just starting just like that so that is how I'm going to have it just like that okay don't worry as we start you just have to take your time while doing and then you can have the best of that in Photoshop yes so let's have something over here just like that just like that just like that okay so we are transforming it out I'm just going to increase the distance the size a little bit so that we can just finish up just like that so that is what we are going to have at the end of the day and this is going to look beautiful over this particular distance too, we can just have just something like that over there and then you can see the magic over there you get that yes so that is what we are truly trying to get at the end of the day yes so we can have something like this over there so there is the end or this is the end this is the end okay yes you can have something like this at the end of the day 
yes so i'm just going to reduce my size a little bit a little bit small then i can solve this particular area without any much problem then i can have it just like that and over here too i can decide to solve that particular area too without any serious problem over there yes so um checking on that particular design i can change the for the before background to water black so that i can solve up this particular distance so that it will be in line you get that yes it will be in line very beautiful so that is how we are going to just going to have and we are ending the tutorial just like that so over there you can have something like this the next thing again you have to do is to come and pick a right eclipse tool over here or sorry that's it yes ellipse tool or eclipse tool that's the circle tool then you can draw up something like this just to have some kind of shadow over there just like that okay then the shadow sh the, the color should be black and you can right click and do what and come and, and restylize that particular distance then you head over to filter then you come to blur then you move to what to gas and blur then when you come to gas and blur you decide and move your your radius to some kind of uh, kind of distant then you can just have something like that beautiful not to be too distant yes but you can have it just like that okay yes and the next thing again i have to do is to just transform it a little bit a little bit a little bit small you know then you can have something like this over there and then you can also hold shift to do the transformation so that you can have the best of that over there without any problem yes so in this particular tutorial we are just getting to the end of photoshop uh, pepper manipulation in photoshop without any problem you can also try it up this particular distance then is going to be a fun for you yes thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and have a nice day please share subscribe to my youtube channel and link up with your friends so that you can also learn more bye bye have a nice day